in Psalm 124, verse 1 to 6. Psalm 124, verse 1 to 6. Listen carefully. The Bible says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, Two, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us. Three, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Four, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Five, then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Six, blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, any link between me and any river, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Say, any evil link between me and any river, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Any evil link between me and any river, break by fire, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Any evil link between me and any river, break by fire, break by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray, may the Lord break that evil link. That is connect you to the rivers that is, that is connect you to the waters in jesus name we pray amen today we are going into a very very important topic very very important topic and how opening message and i, I pray that the lord we we will teach us more about this topic today's topic is 12 signs that you have marine spirit 12 signs that you have marine spirit so we are going to tell you the 12 signs why people have this marine spirit, the symptoms, why you have this marine spirit. Yes, you may be seeing somebody, you say, ah, this person has this marine spirit. This person is under the spirit or under the grip of the water spirit. So we are going to tell you all the symptoms. We are going to tell you all the signs that shows that a person is under the yoke of marine spirit. And when these signs are applicable to you, you need to go for deliverance. Go for deliverance at Monte of Fire Miracle Ministry. And uh, also you can pray. You can pray. I have some prayers on my website on Marine Spirit at evangelijoshua.com and bibleandprayers.com. Marine Spirit are the princes and princes of the sea. As taken from the book of Ezekiel chapter 26 verse 16. This class of demons are responsible for all wisdom. Our world is living today. They perpetrate the highest level of wickedness against mankind in the form of defilement, in the form of filthiness, in the form of marital breakup, sexual bondage, relationship problems, depravity, and so on and so forth. Marine spirit is one of the most powerful devices which the enemy is using today to pollute people's life, to defy them, to waste their life, to waste their destiny. This water spirit uses the spirit spouse to molest people in their dreams, to make sure a person is not fruitful or a person is not prospering in life again. So marine spirit can be programmed in someone's life through indecent dressing, seduction, and true evil association, and so on and so forth. It is very easy to recognize a person who is under the grip of marine spirit. Have you ever seen a pastor delivering a person under a marine spirit? Yes. You, they, will start to be, you know, they will start to be you know, demonstrating that spirit in them. will start to be demonstrating, you know, try to cast them out. Praise the living Jesus. When you discover that you are under the influence of marine spirit as a woman, or as a man, you find it very difficult to marry. You find it very difficult to, to have a settled home. You find it very difficult to you find it very difficult to succeed. You find it very difficult to progress, to prosper. The person will be facing lot and lot of disappointment. Many people today are contacting marine spirits without them knowing. Yes, some of them they are under the influence of marine spirit, and some of them do not know. So sometimes when they are having dreams. They will still have it within their mind that they don't have marine spirit. Someone can be possessed with marine spirit through satanically inspired music, through wearing of other people's clothes, through wearing of other people's shoes. So today, we are going to share with you the 12 signs that you are possessed with marine spirit. These signs are both physically or spiritual. Number one, seeing yourself swimming in the dream. Seeing yourself swimming in the dream. You're always swimming in the dream. You find yourself swimming in the dream. Always see yourself at the center of the water, at the middle of the water. You're always swimming in the dream. I want to let you know that you have this marine spirit. You have, you have a covenant with the water spirit. Seeing yourself in the, in the midst of the water means that you are in a marine world. You are in a marine world, which means that you are being caged spiritually. You are being caged physically. No matter where you go, there is no success. No matter where you go, there is no breakthrough in your life because you are trapped 
in one particular place. So when you are swimming in the river, know for sure that you have this marine spirit. Can you run, run to church and go for your deliverance? Number two, seeing yourself having sex in the dream. Seeing yourself having sex in a dream. Sex is a bond between you and somebody. And when there is sex, what happens? There's an exchange, exchange of spirits, transference of spirits. If you are dealing with an unholy person, if you are fornicating with an unholy person, the spirit in that person will automatically be transferred into your life. For example, if you are sleeping with a man, you are sleeping with a woman, the spirit that torment that person will be transferred to you. That's why the Bible says you should flee from fornication. Because why? The Bible, the Lord knows that once there's a fornication, there's already a bondage, there's a marine bondage that is already in place. So when you find yourself as a child of God, having sex or fornicating around, then you know, be rest assured that you are under this marine spirit. This You're, you're already converted with this marine spirit. So can you go for deliverance? Number three, seeing yourself eating the dream. When you are eating the dream, you are under the influence of marine spirit. You are eating the food of the spirit. You are eating food prepared by your enemies. So when you eat that food, automatically you'll be possessed by my own witchcraft. This is the food they will use to initiate you, to bewitch your soul, to bewitch your glory. And once you eat this food, what happens? You begin to have these legions of demons. You begin to see something, negative things moving around your body. You find it very difficult to conceive. You find it very, very difficult to have good health. So these are the food from the marine world. Once you eat it, automatically you are caged. You have this covenant with the marine spirit. So you need to go for deliverance. Number four, seeing yourself kissing in the dream. When you are kissing in the dream, you're under the influence of marine spirit, under the influence of ancestral powers, under the inf influence of demonic powers. When you are kissing in the dream, you need a deliverance because the enemy is really, really messing up your life. The enemy is already messing up your destiny. That is one of the signs to show that you are under the grip of the water demons. Number five, seeing yourself breastfeeding a baby. When you are breastfeeding a baby in the dream, you are under the influence of marine spirit. Because most times, for most people, the baby which you are feeding in that dream may represent a spirit child, a spirit children, which you are breastfeeding. You are breastfed. You, you breastfed in that dream. Those spirits, those baby will actually, you know, summon from the marine world, you know, to suck your life, to drain you as a woman, to make you look old, to take away your virtues, to take away your fortunes. So when you discover that you are breastfeeding a baby in the dream, know that you are under this the influence of marine spirit. And once you are under the influence of marine spirit as a single, you will find it very difficult to marry. And when you are married, you will find it very difficult to have a peaceful and a happy home. So when you are breastfeeding a baby in the dream as a woman, know that you, are, you, are, you, you have this covenant with the marine spirit. You need to break it. Let your pastor pray with you. Number six, seeing yourself getting married to a stranger in the dream. When you are getting married to a stranger in the dream, you are possessed by marine spirit. Number seven, you are always seeing river in the dream. When you are always seeing river in the dream, river, river, river. Some people, they have that feeling. Anytime they see water, they feel like entering into that river. That's why the father, they don't know how to swim. Yes, a woman shared a story with me recently. He said, evangelist, anytime I drive along this Tormelan bridge, the rivers beside, my, I always feel like jumping. The person will always feel like jumping into that lagoon. It is the spirit of the marine. Yes, that person has a connection. That person has a link with the water spirit. So you, that kind of person needs to go for deliverance. So when you feel like entering or you feel like entering into the river, know that uh, you are under the marine spirit. Number eight, bathing yourself beside the river. When you are bathing yourself beside the river, in the dream, in the physical world, you are bathing yourself in the river. No, because the water has already been polluted, is defied. When you are bathing, automatically, this marine spirit will be tormenting your life. This marine spirit will cage you. You'll be having all kinds of spiritual problems. Naturally, you feel that once you bath with water, every of your problem will go away. But the reverse is the case. When you are bathing beside the river, automatically, you'll be having spiritual problems. You'll be having legions of demons following you. You know, you put your hands on something like this, you put your hands on something and that will not work out because you are already affiliating yourself with unholy spirits. So which will make them to torment your life. So when you are baffled beside the river, you need to go for deliverance from the marine spirit. Number nine, seeing yourself being naked in the dream. 
when you are naked in the dream, you are under this marine spirit. Ten, when you are always seeing snake in the dream, when you are seeing snake in the dream, you are under the grip of marine covenant. You have this covenant with the marine spirit. You are always seeing snake in the dream. Snake attacking you, biting you. So, you are, if you are a woman, you always see snake in the dream. Yes, and uh, this snake is as a result of this spirit spouse. They are the one, you, they are the one showing to you that they are around. So the spirit spouse can, can transform themselves into snake in the dream to come and carry out evil mission against you. So whenever you see snake, do not take it lightly. Do not say it's just a, not, it's just a ordinary dream. Just pray or go for deliverance so that you can be free from their oppression in Jesus' name. Number 11, when you are always seeing dog in the dream, when you are seeing dog in the dream, that is the spirit of seduction, that is the spirit of fornication, that is the spirit of sin and backbite. I pray that the Lord will deliver you from the spirit of the dog in Jesus' name. Lastly, number 12, when you are always seeing yourself flying around water in the dream, you are always seeing yourself flying around water, flying around water, flying around, you are hovering around water in the dream know that uh, you have been caged spiritually. You will explain difficulties. You will explain blocking. You will explain promise and faith. When you try to try this way again, you discover that there is no way out for you. So when you are hovering around the water, you know that the spirit of delay is affecting your life. You need to cast them out. All that symptoms or all that signs when you are possessed with marine spirit, when you are being pursued or attacked by animals, when your personal things are thrown into the river, it can trigger evil covenant with water spirit. When you see yourself being dedicated to the waters when you were small, when you receive gift from water demons, when you are having miscarriages or barrenness, then you have this marine spirit. When you have a feeling of uncontrollable sexual hodge, then you have this marine spirit. When you always experience disappointment at the head of breakthrough, you have this marine spirit. When men stop or withdraw their interest in you, the moment you have horrible dreams, then you have this marine spirit that is hindering your marital breakthrough. When you enter a block covenant with a man that later broke up with you, you have this marine spirit tormenting your life. When you are keeping an unholy relationship, you have this marine spirit in your life that needs to be cast out by the power of God. Lastly, when you are having delay and difficulties in getting your victory and deliverance, you have this marine spirit in operation in your life. What are the way out? Surrender your life to Christ, repent from your sin and confess them renounce and break all kinds of soul ties with the devil stand against those evil dreams use the word of god to bind the spirit cover yourself with the blood of jesus and if the dream still persists go for deliverance close your eyes take this prayer upon loud and clear say i bind and cast out all the legions of demons in my life in the name of jesus i bind and cast out all the legions of demons in my life in the name of jesus i bind and cast out all the legions of demons in my life in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I release myself from the grip of marine demons and their manipulations. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from the grip of marine demons and their manipulations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, anything that the marine spirit has stolen or killed in my life, come alive and locate me. In the name of Jesus, anything that the marine spirit has stolen or killed in my life, come alive and locate me. Call on my life and locate me. Come my life and locate me. Come my life and locate me. In the name of Jesus, anything that the marine spirit has stolen or killed in my life, come my life and locate me in Jesus' name. Say, every arrow shot into my life by marine demons backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow shot into my life by marine demons backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, every problem that came into my life through the contact with the marine agent, Receive divine solutions now in the name of Jesus. Say every problem that came into my life through the contact with marine agent. Receive divine solutions now. Receive divine solutions now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray. May the Lord deliver you from that marine kingdom, marine world, marine spirit. If you know, if this, any of these signs is applicable to you as a child of God, know for sure that you have these marine demons inside of you. They are the one delaying your progress. They are the one delaying your, uh, your deliverance. They are the one delaying your victory. You always pray, 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 pray. You discover there's, there's, no, there's no answer prayers. You always pray, 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 pray. You discover that the more you pray, the more the problems. They are the marine spirit. So you need to meet the man of God, the powerful man of God, 
that can cast out these demons, these legions of demons inside of you. They are the reason why your life has no meaning right now. So you need to cast them out so that you can be free. May you be free today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this book has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.